Hello everyone. How are you all? Remember me? My name is Harpreet Neela. I am the class teacher of first standard and teaching in Shri Vashisht Vidyalaya. So children, today I am back here with math subject. And you know which topic I am going to teach you? It's about ordinal numbers as you can see on the screen. So now today we are going to learn about ordinal numbers. So are you all ready? Very good. Okay, my dear students, before moving to the ordinal numbers, let's see what is the meaning of cardinal numbers. Okay, children, the numbers which gives the exact quantity, listen to me carefully, the numbers which gives you the exact quantity of an object are called cardinal numbers. In other words, we can say whenever any question being asked to you using how many and the answer which you are giving is in cardinal numbers. Suppose if somebody asks you how many chocolates do you eat in a day? You can answer na three, four, five or six. Okay, whatever. And if somebody asks you how many chapatis do you have in your lunch time? One or two, you will give the answer. So such answers which you are giving in simple numbers are called cardinal numbers. Okay, one example you can see on the screen also. If I ask you how many cars do you see? So you will count the cars 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then you will give the answer that 4. So such numbers are called cardinal numbers. I hope you understood about it. Okay. Now let's move. Oh wow. Yummy yummy. Can you see the basket of fruits over here? Yes. Now I am going to ask the question. How many fruits are there in the basket? Come on. Count it. Okay, let's count together. Let's see carefully on the fruits. Huh? Numbers will come. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, total how many fruits are there? Eight. I hope you have counted with me. Okay, so now let's move. Now we are to the main topic, ordinal numbers. So what do we mean by ordinal numbers? Let's see. Children, ordinal numbers means the numbers which gives us the exact position of an object are called ordinal numbers. Position means jaga dikhata hai. Okay, the thing or some person is on which place, is on which position. That number is called ordinal number. And children, ordinal numbers tells the position of an object rather than their quantity. Okay, it tells the exact position. Now, let's see. Again, we are back with cardinal numbers. Let's see the difference between cardinal and ordinal numbers. First, we are going to see cardinal numbers. Which number you can see on the screen? One. Chalo, along with me, you have to speak, okay? Then is coming two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here are the simple cardinal numbers one to ten on the screen. Okay. Let's see how ordinal numbers are different from cardinal numbers. Again, you can see here one, but with one, what will come? st and it will become first how you have to speak it first and now two is coming with two and d will join and this will become second very good come on now say three with three r and d will join and it will become third how you can say third Next one is coming 4 and with 4, T and H is joining. So, it will become 4th. Next is coming 5. Again with 5, TH will join and this will become 5th. So, this is how we are reading the ordinal numbers. Again, repeat with me. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Now, next one we are doing till 10 now. So, next will come 6. So, with 6, T, H. So, how you will speak it? 6th. Next is 7, T, H. That is 7th. Next is coming 8, T, H. This will become 
8. Oh, oh, T is missing. Now 9 is there. Again H is there. Again T is missing. 10, T, H. 10th. And surprise, here is coming the T. So, how we will read? 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. I hope you got the idea about ordinal numbers. Or agar abhi tak samajh nahi aaya, don't worry because here I am with a story so that you can understand more about ordinal numbers. Okay, so are you all ready? This is the story of a forest as you can see. In forest what we find? We find many many animals. Okay, but this is a story of 10 animals who are very very friends with each other. And they are getting bored so they decided to organize a running race and so they are going to run and let's see who will win the race and we will give them ordinal numbers according to their position and you will get more knowledge about ordinal numbers so are you all ready because i am very much ready so let's see oh so these are the animals they are going to run the race let's see what they are going to do oh the track is ready okay the beginning track of running is ready their friends are ready to cheer up them and here comes the counting one two and three and here starts the race oh my god can you see on the screen all the animals started running okay they are running as fast as they can but see who will reach the finishing line first. Let's see. We are waiting to the finishing line. Who will come first? Let's see. Oh, to the surprise. The first one is the ostrich. And the ostrich is on which position? See, first. And how we spell it? F-I-R-S-T. First. Now, on the second position, which animal is going to come? It's cheetah. And see the number. The cheetah got second position. What is the spelling? What is the spelling of second? S-E-C-O-N-D. Second. Okay, you have to speak with me. And now, let's see who will come on third position. And it's the king of the jungle. He is on third position. And the spelling is T-H-I-R-D. Third. Now, let's see on fourth number. Oh, Mr. Fox is on fourth number. See how we spell it? F-O-U-R-T-H. Fourth. And we are waiting. Oh, monkey is on fifth number. How we spell it? F-I-F-T-H. Fifth. And let's see the sixth one is the Himalayan goat. Okay. So how we spell it? S-I-X-T-H. Sixth. And now we are waiting. Uh, seventh number we got. And it's the zebra. S-E-V-E-N-T-H. Seventh. Zebra is on seventh position. Now let's see. Oh, our little mouse is on eighth position. Okay. So what is the spelling? E-I-G-H-T-H. Eighth. Now on the ninth position is our Mr. Elephant. Okay. So, how we spell the ninth number, ordinal number? N-I-N-T-H, ninth. And now we are waiting for the tenth position and it's our bull. And it's on which position? Tenth. And how we spell it? T-E-N-T-H, tenth. Okay, my dear students, as you have seen, the race is over now. Okay, so let's move and now with the help of a graph, we will see okay the animals and their positions so do you remember on first position which animal was there it was ostrich on second position was cheetah and on third position or king of the jungle fourth position mr fox fifth position mr monkey sixth position the himalayan goat seventh position is our zebra Okay, 8th position is our little mouse and on ninth is our Mr. Elephant and on last position is our bull. So, okay, so this is the graph of the race. So, you can see we have 
ordered the animals in ordinal numbers according to their position of coming in the race children so now here is a rapid test for you as you all have seen the running race of animals and also you have given the ordinal numbers according to their positions so now you have to do this exercise what you have to do you have to just tick the correct option okay first one in the race zebra was on which position a seventh b fifth c second or d tenth you can say the answer orally and your parents can see whether you are right or wrong or you can copy down these questions and then you can write the correct option okay second one is elephant was on dash position a sixth b third c ninth or d seventh next one is ostrich came dash in the running race ostrich came dash in the running race so it was on ninth number first tenth or eighth and the last one is in the race the lion was on which position a second b fifth c first or d third okay so children think properly you can replay the video and see the race again and then answer these questions okay now and one home assignment for you it is very important to learn the spellings of the ordinal numbers because to write the numbers only it is very easy okay we have seen the cardinal and ordinal numbers only you have to add some letters with the cardinal numbers and it will sound as ordinal numbers right but to spell it is very important so you what you have to do now you will write the spellings five times in your notebook or paper first one is first and what is the spelling of first f i r s t first write down and please no write down again four times so that you can learn it properly now second what is the spelling s e c o n d second next is third t h i r d third next one f o u r t h fourth next f i f t h fifth next s i x t h sixth next s e v e n t h seventh next e i g h t h eighth next n i n t h ninth and last one is t e n t h tenth so please write down the spellings five five times and learn it properly and i hope you enjoyed this video and also your concept is clear for ordinal numbers okay children have a nice day and stay home stay safe bye bye